What's going on, Vendor? I don't know. What's going on, buddy? Soliaki here, and I've got a, a video from an open carry gathering that happened in Jacksonville. Um, it kind of popped up, and I didn't really get the chance to talk about it, and I'm really sorry about it, but we're going to get into this. Um, it, we had some police interactions, and um, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it real good. So let's see here. All right. We've got, this is my friend, Cop350ZX. This is another good friend of Florida Carry. His name's Rob. I don't know about you, but for some god awful reason, if you aren't a veteran or you're not a a police officer, from what this guy is saying, you can't express your rights. Um, I mean, like, what kind of tyrannical police officer is this guy? Um, just to let you know, this is Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. That officer's name was Officer Jones. And there was another officer there. His name is Officer, I think it's Ingall. It's I-N-G-A-L-L. -L. Um, I'll put all the link stuff, um, all that good stuff in the description below. Um, and this is the beginning part. This is them just hanging out, fishing, you know. And this guy turned it into, if you're not a veteran, you can't express your rights. Oh, you know, like. I don't even know what kind of, I don't know where his mentality went. You know, you want to come out and see what we're doing. Obviously these guys are out here fishing. That should have been the end of it, but no, this guy, he just, he lost it. I, I don't know. I can't explain it, but uh, he lost it, but we're going to continue. You better understand who is who. I don't, I'm lost. I'm, I'm in a loss for words. Like, what, what kind of, where did he get his training? Who made this guy all high and mighty? Oh, I'm a veteran. Don't get me wrong. I love my veterans. I love all of them. But I don't know too many veterans that really step out in, and go this route like like I appreciate everybody that law enforcement first responders Army Marines Air Force Navy and Coast Guard I mean they all do a service that I unfortunately at this age I cannot and when I was younger I missed that chance 
and I kick myself today knowing what I know today. But for this guy, he just thinks he was in the service and things are like owed to him or something. Like, once again, tyrannical officer. Officer Jones, tyrannical. Oh, round two. Now, notice how they're they're surrounding the one guy that's got the long rifle. At this point, they're checking fishing licenses. Because under Florida law, it is one unfortunate part that I don't like is that we actually do have to produce our fishing licenses on demand while we are fishing. Regardless if we're carrying or not, if they ask, if they see us fishing, they can ask us for a fishing license at any point. Police, FWC, both of them, they can ask for it at any time, as long as you're fishing. All right, we'll be right back with all your information. You got to check your fishing licenses. Yep. All right. Everything checks out. All right. Here we go. Here's your stuff back. All right, we still don't like what you're doing. Sorry about the wind. This is not my video, guys. All right, all right, we're gonna go take this walk of shame again. Yeah. Well, here we go. Well, we can't do nothing now. They got fishing licenses. All right. Let's just leave them alone. You would think. Let's just leave them alone at this point. Now, here we go. Round three. Round three. All right, and um, the gentleman here that just showed up, his name is, uh, we'll just say his name's Uriah. Not really sure what his name is, but he's once again, another good friend. And 
they're like, oh, we're going to get calls all day. All right. Just because you get calls doesn't mean you have to show up. It just means you have to, A, go to the scene and see what's going on and maybe do some recon. And then B, obviously, if you know the law while we're fishing. So if you're A, observing and C is fishing, not hurting anybody, not doing anything. The, those phone calls, they can come all they want. Your dispatcher can say, hey, they we know that they're out there. This is a legal right. Simple as that. And that could be the end of it. This, this officer, Officer Jones, just didn't like what he was seeing. And everything he wanted to do and everything he wanted to say was just to try to either belittle people that were expressing rights, which, you know, some he has that right. But as an officer, you, 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 you kind of don't. You will kind of want to stick to the law because then you actually end up on YouTube. You end up looking like an idiot. You end up getting people getting very frustrated at officers. And I like showing good officers and bad officers. You know, their job is hard enough, but to to try to insinuate that just because somebody's not a veteran, they shouldn't be able to do something or that they're, I, I don't know what his deal is. I still don't know what his deal is, but I did request, I have FOIA requested their 911 calls, their body cam footage, any reports that were written and I want to know what this guy said. I want to know exactly what this guy's deal is. And hopefully they have a talk with him. Because this guy, he's just hes just a tyrant. He just thinks he's better. He's a police officer. I'm a, I'm a veteran and a police officer. So I get to say and do what I want. And you guys can't. So don't forget, hit that like, share, and that subscribe button. There will be a link to Cop350ZX's channel where you can actually see the entire full footage. It's about nine, ten minutes. I kind of chopped this one up into uh, the police interactions, but for the most part, um, I think I'll be going to Jacksonville soon. That's what I think. So, uh, Jacksonville, here I come. Solo Yecker, deuces.